What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something uh, a little different, something I've never done before. I'm going to talk about the NECA TMNT Universal Monster line or what is out of it or what is already released at the moment. Um, to me this is like if not action figure line of the year definite contender. <clears throat> Um, what's funny about this is I wasn't even going to collect these, I was going to pass on this line. Not because I didn't like them or didn't think they were cool, because it is cool, it just, I already had the movie Turtles going, the animated Turtles going, the comic Turtle line going, uh, Turtles in Time was going, not to mention Playmates Retro, I, it was just Turtle Overload. So I, this was, I was going to pass on these Turtles. And then, this guy came, and they hooked me in, just like that. I was all in. I uh, went to the store, I got Leo, and then I found, um, then I found April, and then bam, found the mummy, and then I went and got Raph last week so now I have everything that's out right now so I'm just gonna do we're gonna go over them I'm gonna show them to you guys to me this is my favorite these are my this is my favorite figure of the year and I would say that this is my personal in my opinion this year's toy line of the year I, they just did an amazing job if you guys don't have these I recommend going to get them I mean the paint apps on them are perfect. They look amazing. Oh man, just like everything about them is perfect. And it, don't, don't almost make the mistake I made by passing on them. These things are gold. If I mean, even if you don't collect any of the turtle line, these. Oh man, they're just they're beautiful works of art. So first we got. Raph, this was our first release. Raph as uh, Frankenstein. I'll show you the box. Even the box, the, the packaging is just beautiful. There you got the front cover. You got the side that shows everything that's out or about to be out. Got that side. And the back, I love the backs. little sayings and stuff and then you flip it open you got the window obviously and then they put another shot of the figure and then on the bottom you got everybody that worked on it all the licensing everything so that was that was the first release we got was wrapped here he is I, the chain is even real it's a real chain a metal chain it's a, I mean, just the paint apps are perfect on it. They made it a size in the lightning bolts. You see the sewer, the sewer plate. Fixing a hole. I mean, just amazing. Got a gauge on there. You see his boots. Look at that face, though. That face is just... The sculpting and the paint apps, everything is just amazing on these. I love them. If you guys, did, if you haven't gotten these yet, I I recommend getting them. At some point, they're gonna be the scalpers are gonna be they're gonna be going for big prices online. So and then we got Leonardo. That was our second release he came, he came out oh, what was that? he came for fall geek out that's the box this was another one that really helped me uh, really pushed me forward on on picking these guys up I mean, the 
boxes are just, even like the packaging is just beautiful. I love it. And what's really cool about Leonardo, yeah, man. I don't know if you remember the old Playmate Turtles with the storage shells, but the shell opens up. A really cool accessory with him. You get a skull, and then you also get this. It's this canister with a brain in it. It all comes out and everything. You can put everything in his shell. Everything fits back in his shell. So you see, there's like shell, and then his swords come out. There's his swords. He comes with a bunch of accessories. You got a bone, a little shovel. Just amazing though, like, look at that. And I, I, when I say the paint apps are perfect, I mean, they're perfect. There's like no runoffs, no chips, like, nothing. I love the lock on there. It's got a lock on the shell. Also has fixed up spots. Just amazing. Yeah, so we got Leo as the Hunchback. That was our second release. And then at the same time, we also got April O'Neil as Bride of Frankenstein. Again, I just love the packaging on this. So now... Don't... Do not make the mistake. I am most made by not getting the And then with April, we actually got another head sculpt. Like it's kind of up the Soft rubber. Really, this is like a like a news a news station. Really cool. Looks really good. I can't wait for uh, Donatello as the Invisible Man and uh, Splinter as Van Helsing. And then, last but not least, we got. Mummy. The mummy came at the second drop for Ball Geek Out. And he was probably the hardest one to find. I got lucky. I walked in one day and there was one left. Snatched him up so fast. I know people. some people are still looking for him. So if you spot him, pick him up. Just an amazing, amazing figure this thing oh he also comes with an extra head sculpt you can see it this uh, other one the one that it looks like he's kind of sleepy he's got like one eye closed and his mouth is closed and here he is I put the alternate head on him shell take a look at it shell see all the hieroglyphs on it just amazing those are actually like carved in there just amazing and everything they, they did a perfect job on these I give NECA a lot of credit for these ones I can't believe I was gonna pass on these um, see his head he's got like it looks like he's like mummified like his he's cracked like his skin is cracking just so amazing I uh an emblem emblem on his his belt so yeah these are my opinion this is the uh, toy line of the year for me um and if you don't agree then it's definitely contender because there's a lot of good things that have come out, but nothing that like blew me away. And this line blew me away. Like, and I wasn't even gonna collect it. So I just wanted to share those with you. If you guys don't have them, go pick them up. Like, 
they are worth every penny. They look amazing. I can't wait to start seeing some photography with them. Cannot wait for Donatello to come out. Can't wait for Splinter. I wish they were doing a Casey Jones. That's the only thing. Good. No Casey Jones, but can't get everything you want. It would have been cool to get like a foot soldier and a, a shredder too. I don't know why they don't want to. I wish they'd keep going with it. Um, six figures is a good, a good amount for the line, but I'd like to see more. Yeah. Um, so if you guys like videos like this, hit that like button. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, think about subscribing. Uh, those of you that are subscribed and keep coming and back and supporting and watching, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Keep on collecting and uh, have a good day.